So this is going to be my research post um, into film directors. So um, first, the uh, main role of a director is very simple, um, and it is to direct actors, camera staff, and anyone involved in the making of a film, and um, in the right direction to help the director create a film, um, which they have is what they basically anticipate and what they want. However, a director's job may expand to more than simply just directing. Doing this will contribute to making the film in the exact way to which they want. In a job, everyone has their own way of performing their individual job. This is this is no different for each different direct, um, film director because they have their own independent style, uh, which makes them unique. So, Tim Burton movies are incredibly different to Steven Spielberg movies, like Tim Burton's sort of eerie weird intake on how films are made compared to um, how Steven Spielberg does movies or think of Tim Burton's Batman compared to Christopher Nolan's Batman. It's very different to how like, uniquely um, directors produce film. Um, it's quite substantial. So Tim Burton. Um, Tim Burton is a famous director who will, um, produced work in both short and um, feature aspects of film. His work first began with short films, so for instance, one of my favourite short films is Vincent from uh, 1982. Vincent um, was his, his first sort of discovered stop motion animation, which he's quite renowned for, um, for films like uh, The Cor Corpse's Bride, Nightmare Before Christmas, as well as sort of more funky films. He's done like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Beetlejuice, he did and sort of the Batman films as well, as well as um, he directed Alice in Wonderland 2. Um, so, so this short film was made by Burton when he was 23, but the film is about a young boy who dreams of being um, a horror le the, um, the horror legend of Vincent Prince. Um, so, um, so all the films in total have generated over a billion dollars uh, in revenue, which has resulted um, resulted his to be sort of the most successful films to date. As a result um, of his two most latest and successful films, he has won the partnership with the famous actor Johnny Depp, which also um, helped sell his films. So Johnny Depp's quite a famous director and most um, directors and actors will sort of um, come together. Uh, for instance, Christopher Nolan is f famous for using the um, same characters the same actors in this film, so he'll usually have like a Leonardo DiCaprio or a Christian Bale, but um, he'll also sort of have characters that sort of pops up in his films all the time. Um, so, so many of his high profile films include stop motion animation, which he learned from his short film Vincent. So, next director is Christian Nolan. So, he's a British um, film director who started working on his short film um, in the short film industry. And then furthered his career into high profile blockbuster films. His uh, main short film, which was produced, um, was Doodlebug in 1997. And this shows a male character who, torment who was tormented by a bug in his apartment. It also shows the darker elements in Nolan's filmmaking, which um, would be proved very um, well for his career in the future. So, the short film also dis displayed Nolan's idea and fondness of visual effects, which again has been. Um, drastically used over his career in films of films like um, Prestige, Memento, uh, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Interstellar, um, or Inception heavily uses CG, um, as well as using practical effects. Um, he has a great mix of creating realism in his um, films, as well as making a very sort of outlandish at the same time, which it was basically Interstellar. Um, so this just shows how um, how his working in short films has boosted his career um, into film. So the last one I'm going to do is Mr. Steven Allen Spielberg. Um, so he's an American director, producer, screenwriter and editor. He is considered one of the founding pioneers of the new Hollywood era and seen as one of the greatest directors of all time, um, creating some of the most classic films including Jaws, E.T., Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, you all heard, everyone's heard of him, but Spielberg actually did start with short film, uh, which, uh, which is one of my favourite short films as well, which actually launched um, his, the name for his production company, Amblin. So Amblin, he, he re, um, released in 1968, his 
Amblin Entertainment, so even though uh, it was a short film that didn't have much to do with his career, he still incorporated quite a lot as well as incorporating um, a still image from E.T., so he's just combining and um, using intertextual references to other films in his production company, which um, is sort of a, a nice little thing he's done. So Abilene, again, another short film. Um, so he, Steven Spielberg was actually a short film director at first. So yeah, this is just some research on um, like film directors that are originally short film directors. Um, yeah, cool. Um, next post, drop and see. See ya.